Hello, book lovers. I'm Peg, the book prize addict. Welcome to my channel. Well, today I'm not going to talk about books quite as much as usual, but something other, something else that I love just about as much as I love reading. Now, just so you won't think I'm forgetting books, I do have my bookshelf necklace on today. So anyway, well, you may have seen in the title that I uh, gave a little forewarning about my other hobby that I love just about as much as reading, and that's knitting. Um, yeah, I'm the typical old lady that likes to sit around clanking knitting needles, but you know, the best thing of all that I like doing is knitting while I'm listening, listening to audiobooks. And I like to have a huge knitting project that'll take me several months and many different books, audio books that I go through. And uh, another, th what I really love to knit most of all is wedding blankets. Now, when special people uh, get married, I usually end up knitting them or quilting them a wedding blanket. Now, my usual uh, tactic on this, first of all, it's not good to surprise people with knitted things. No, that doesn't go over well, especially if they don't know much about knitting. They they assume you whipped it up in a day or so, you know. So best to, best to forewarn them a little and find out a little about their taste. Now, usually when I um, decide to knit a wedding blanket, I confer with the bride and find out her colors and her taste. And, and she usually picks uh, out some frilly, uh, lacy white blanket or pink blanket or something like that, and everybody's happy. But as many of you know, we have a special wedding, um, same-sex wedding here with one of our most popular booktubers that coming up this um, summer in August. Now, uh, I, I, I won't say his name uh, right now, but I will say that he may or may not live in Tokyo and his darling fiance may be named Kenji. So I think probably some of you know who I'm talking about. Anyway, so I really wanted to uh, do my usual knitting of a wedding blanket, which I need to get started because it takes several months to make. And I was thinking, what do you make for a, a wedding with two grooms? I don't think either of them like freely pink or lacy white. So I, I, I just was really in a quandary. Uh, and you know how things happen? I saw this pattern for a rainbow blanket. We all know that rainbow is the symbol of unity and gay pride. And besides, I just like things colorful. You can see I also have my uh, Ringo necklace on. Anyway, I said, this is perfect for a gay wedding. And I, I was able to get the pattern and the yarn and start knitting on it. And the best thing is Audible Books. It's uh, kind of uh, ironic that this person, that it's man, I'll tell you that. And that that I'm knitting this blanket for, and then his fiance actually got me introduced to Scrib. Scrib, a wonderful, wonderful. I'm not. I don't work for him. A company that uh, for I think eight dollars a month you can get all the audio books you want and new ones. So while I'm watching all these, listening to all these great ones, I'll be thinking about who I'm knitting this blanket for. Okay, so. Well, let me just, I, you're probably not interested in all the ins and outs of knitting a blanket, but uh, I will tell you that I need to start pretty soon because uh, this blanket here has um, each stripe, it has 10 different colors, and each stripe has 7,200 stitches. So in all, that's going to be 72,000 stitches. <laughs> Um, which I love. I love every bit of it. Believe me, I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't love it. Um, anyway, so I, I will show you. I have barely started, and here's how you start. Um, I'm starting down at this 
end here, and this is the color for it. I should make it a little bigger. Oh, that's not. Anyway, this is the color I have started with, and I have, in fact, the start of my blanket. <laughs> So anyway, I'm hoping uh, to come back and show you my progress month by month. I'm trying to get, like, if I do two stripes a month, I'll, I should get it done by August. Um, so it's a lot of fun. Now, if any of you are out there are knitters and want to do a knit-along with me, yeah, there's, there's what they call knit-alongs. Um, I've, I've put the information below on where you can order the pattern and the yarn. And uh, anyway, so I'll be knitting away and listening to Audible books uh, most of the day today. Have a good Saturday yourself. Bye.